Hey, coucou tout le monde, c'est Crash FM par des effets. On est reparti pour la partie 2 de l'épisode 4 de Minecraft Story Mode. Et cette fois, on est à la. On est à la recherche du livre enchanté qu'on pourrait effectivement euh, donner le pouvoir de toutes les outils. Et. Je. Et euh, avec cet outil, on pourrait. Euh, détruire le, le bloc de commande qui en a sur le tempête de Wither. I see your wow and raise you a It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the far lands, my friend. Ah, c'est des terroirs ténèbres. Jesse snagged this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Say what you like about witches. They sure know how to make a cake. Hmm. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. Like a monument to chaos itself. This wall. Did Ivor build this? No, of course not. This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this? Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on. Would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. Some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. Flowers. No trees. I guess it's a Farlands thing. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone, on guard! Uh. We can't fight them all! Do you have a distinct? Do you have a distinct? That worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the paths connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. <laughs> De l'escalade. Ça 
ça m'étonnerait. First met Ruben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay. Perçu d'une araignée. Ah oui, d'accord. Genre, je marche sur le vida avec la glace. <rire> J'ai vu qu'il est en train de passer euh, par le. Déjà, toi, tu dégages. Fous le camp! Il va falloir les fabriquer à nouveau, mais de mais plus solide. C'est sûr cet endroit. Mais qui dit On va se perdre
aperçu dans des, des, des machines à pistons. Oh là là Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça encore <coughs> Excuse-moi. Hmm. Dans le coffre. Des objets mystérieux. Redstone blocks, some pistons. Wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, we've got to push on to Ivor's lab. Somehow. Too bad there's a gaping bottomless pit in the way. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. It's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. It can't be that complicated. Not if it's something I would built. Half built, which means it was hard enough that he got stuck and gave up. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Well, maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people. Just like us. Right just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened well ago. The Order can't do this. How are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We know about it. All I know is, the world is depending on us. Maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You and I found Eligard together. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah! 
Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Allez, c'est parti. Les amis. Ensuite. du steak <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. You spent the whole ride quivering in terror. Soren, are you afraid of flying? <laughs> But the, the man's mad. He's wither crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had him. That was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there.
Guess that's why they're friends in the first place, right? Either that, or you like to say nice things about you. <laughs> Ivor, on the other hand, I think his only friends were books. I guess being an angry woman makes you a lot of fun to read. <laughs> Tell me about it. How to train your slime, the various uses of the mushroom stew, Oceanology Volume 24? Are any of them the enchanting book? I don't think so. Not really. I bore us too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together, that was kind of fun. Almost. Spread thin. But we're all still a team. That's how teams work. Hey, you almost said teamwork. See? We're still funny. And we can still get things done. I guess being split up just means we can be in more places at once, right? Kind of like the Wither Storm. Let's just forget that metaphor. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't gotten lost in that confounded swamp. He could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. He was just doing what I asked. It wasn't his fault we got separated. Not really. Is that supposed to make me feel better? There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. Robin, let's step back to this. Très belle heure. Robin, what are you doing? Yeah, well, you're going to get yourself cooked. I told you before. Day. Oh, wait. I'm not. Twenty thousand blocks under the sea. Learn to succeed by thinking inside the box. Oh, none of these seem to be enchanting books either. This Ivor character, I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the Wither Monsters? I'm remembering correctly, am I not? We actually already tried that. I assume it was unsuccessful. Ivor's potions just aren't strong enough to undo this mess he created. Oh, I see. Potion of blindness. Potion of dullness. Of nausea. None of these will help me. Jesse, am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was. Of course you'll be okay. You're Gabriel the Warrior. Thank you, Jesse. Your confidence in me is stronger than any potion. Except perhaps a potion of confidence. I wonder if he has one of those. Hey, Olivia. I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Well, it's a good thing I still have one. From like... Made for it. Let's see what this sucker does. A secret passageway. Hmm. Why would you build a 
a secret passage in a house nobody ever visits. More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. Mm, attention au piège, hein, je pense. Eh oui, je savais. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there. We'll head down and see what we can find. Whoa. What is all this? Huh. Incredible. He's gathered them all in one place. Gathered... what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Uh, stories I could tell about these dusty old girls. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there. Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We use most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool rare item, we might need it to unlock that door. Mm, very well. Just be careful with it. See? So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the ice plane spikes pile. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. <sighs> Cold and slippery. <laughs> These gas tears. They're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gonna borrow this. Am I crazy? Or is this a sea lantern? Ah! The very same one the Order built all those years ago. Was so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Hmm. Five slots. Bon. Gast tears. Let's try them here. Soren said the Order got these gas tears on their very first mission together. Marine crystals into the hopper. The order used these crystals to make the sea lantern. A 
sea lantern. In you go. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Back to ice. Let's put it here. Soren said they got this ice just before fighting the Ender Dragon. Oh la 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 la! You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. If I know anything, it's how much I love puzzles. Et à sens plus. Puzzles. Indeed, he does. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Allez. Les potos, c'est ainsi que la partie 2 s'achève. J'espère qu'il vous aura plu. On se retrouvera pour la partie 3 de l'épisode 4 de Minecraft Story Mode.